How does a neurosurgeon access the brain during neurosurgical procedures? This is done by performing a craniotomy. The first step usually involves making holes in the skull and then connecting the dots to remove that window of bone. There are a variety of different types of drills and attachments depending on the nature of bony work that needs to be performed and how delicate it needs to be. A perforator is for making holes in the skull. This has cutting mechanisms on the sides of the drill. So by applying steady and gentle pressure, it penetrates the bone and cuts the sides to make an even hole. This drill has a special auto stop mechanism that once it penetrates the inner table of bone, it stops to prevent the risk of damaging underlying structures. Additionally, in many cases, the tip is specialized so it prevents slippage. What other questions do you have about brain surgery? Thanks for following along and remember, your brain is your greatest asset, so be sure to take care of it.